Hey y'all, what's up? It's Kellen with K&T Do Halloween. So I just got a delivery notice. We had some distortions props that we ordered show up today and I saw the camera at the front door, which just made me laugh. Our FedEx guy is always trying to make us laugh. We get some really crazy and wild deliveries here and he's always wondering what the heck we're doing. But um, <laughs> I just had to share this because it was just too funny because my FedEx guy got jokes. What? I mean, all right, let's let's get him inside. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just no. Cut. I don't like this. Ah, much better. Not crawling around through boxes. Now I am on a throne of boxes. My throne of Halloween boxes. Who doesn't want a throne made out of boxes? Hey y'all and welcome to another video. It's me, Kellen. I can tell you're very excited. And now, welcome to the first installment of Is That Your Prop? Where you'll see up close and personal looks at your favorite Halloween props from your favorite Halloween companies. These won't be your mama's prop unboxing videos. These will be a little bit different. So all you unboxing fans out there looking for that sexy unboxing footage, you probably aren't gonna find that here. Now for the videos in this series, we wanna approach them a little different. There will be little unboxing and a lot of up close and personal look at some of our favorite Halloween props from some of our favorite companies. We'll be doing speedy unboxings just to get the props out of their boxes. We'll also be filming them under special effects lighting conditions and atmospheric elements. We hope this gives you guys a better idea of how these props will look in your own displays and truly show off how amazing these props are. Side note, now this is a series we're thinking about adding into our monthly rotation for our channels. Don't worry, we're of course going to continue to do our prop makeover videos as well as our original prop builds and mixing some Halloween, you know, craziness in there. We'll just have to see how it goes. But this is something we were thinking about putting into the regular rotation along with the prop makeovers to feature each month a different Halloween or prop company and some of the props that we just love from them. Let's get back. Now without wasting any more time, let's get on with the first installment of Is That Your Prop? Featuring Distortions Unlimited and their 2021 pumpkin patch combo. Let's do it. Now where the heck did I put my box cutter? Uh, I think this will work nicely. Hey, can I get some unboxing music? If you don't want to see the unboxing, just tap that fast forward button about 30 or so seconds and they'll be done. Can I get that music? So first impressions right out of the box, it's exactly what you would expect from Distortions. The amazing build quality, steel armature, heavy duty motors, incredible paint job, amazing sculptures, and just all around really well-made Halloween props. I'm always impressed by any time we pick up something from them and this was no exception. The scale of these props is incredible. They're much bigger than I expected and that is never a bad thing when you're ordering Halloween props. But let's be honest, this tall, dark, and handsome sexy beast behind me is very impressive. Hold me. He stands over eight feet tall. This guy literally makes me look six foot one inches small. No joke. He must be eight and a half feet tall and he's the strong and silent type. And maybe you're not in the market for a really gigantic Halloween prop or a companion. Why do you smell like that witch down the street? Why not use it as backup? Yeah, Brad, you better stop talking about me or I'm gonna have my buddy back here kick your ass. Now, not only do these props look absolutely amazing and they are painted with such detail, they light up. Also, two of these bad boys have some pretty cool animation. Pretty cool, right? I think I've goofed around enough. Let's get these guys out into the scare studio, get some cool lights on them and take a closer look. Oh yeah, I, I have to take you out there, hold on.
Well, that didn't look very good. What the? Looked like he's having a little too much fun. Now, once I plugged it in, I quickly knew something was wrong. First thing I did was I went online. Thank you, Distortions, for posting some really great setup videos. I was able to pull up the setup video off of their YouTube channel and double check to see if the mechanism on the inside matched the mechanism that I had here at home. What I discovered was this prop definitely got damaged in shipping. I mean, it happens, these things happen, these props are large, they have heavy pieces and steel inside of them, you know, that's just life. I'll insert the footage in here. You can clearly see that the center pole that's mounted to the wiper motor, which should be vertical, has some sort of angle where it's tilting away from its axis point where it's mounted to a plate onto the wiper motor. Uh. And I think what that's doing is it was making the front of the prop catch on the motor housing. The problem with it was it was starting to actually tear the prop apart in the front, and I definitely knew something was wrong. Well, this is really why I wanted to stop and share. I just took some photos and a quick video and just emailed distortions. It was actually pretty late in the afternoon and they got back to me within an hour and a half. I looked at the video and the photos and confirmed that yes, this definitely did get damaged damaged in shipping and that they were going to do whatever they needed to do to make sure that we were going to get something that worked. I expected nothing less from Distortions and I'll be completely honest, this is the first time in probably 20 pieces that we've ordered from them that we've ever actually had a problem. I usually don't have to call them for anything. One suggestion that Ed made was that first I needed to try and bend that center support rod to be more vertical and less of an outward angle. That way when it rotates it's not, you know, making a large circle and arc it's it's you know pivoting around you like that movement it's like a dance move yeah it's like pivoting I just used a pair of vice grips grabbed on to where it meets the wiper motor and then just bent it until it looked straight looked at it from all sides just to make sure it was sitting as straight as possible the second thing was inside there is a piece of PVC this is where the center support rod slides uh, up through the center and then inside of the prop there's a piece of square tubing that sits over the top of this and that's actually embedded inside of the foam latex for the prop he suggested that we just trim that off so that the rod was at the same height. Originally, the PVC lifted the prop up about a half an inch to an inch. Uh, so instead of trimming off the one that came with the prop, I just had some half inch PVC and I just cut a new piece to that height. Test it, that way I didn't have to cut this piece that originally came with it. Both of those suggestions work perfectly. I can't thank Ed from Distortions and the team enough and buy Distortions props. That's, that's all I have to say. Back to the video.
You can definitely tell Tom and I were 80s babies but 90s kids. If you couldn't see the music video undertones in those last few clips, I can't help you. Sorry. Final thoughts on the 2021 Distortions Unlimited Pumpkin Patch Combo. <laughs> It's awesome. Yes, we know they have amazing quality, and yes, we know that you're going to pay for it, but it's absolutely worth it. The animatronics that we own from Distortions work year after year, and I have to say that when I was 16, I worked in a haunted house full of Distortions Unlimited animatronics, and now some 18 years later, many of them are still there. That definitely speaks to the build quality. It's really impressive to see a professional haunted house company like Distortions really stepping more into that mid-range price point you're still getting the amazing build quality than we all have come to expect from Distortions Unlimited, but now you're getting it at a lower price point, and they are not sacrificing the quality and the structure and integrity of these amazing props. Now, of course, with these props, the sculpture, the build quality, the paint job, it's all there. But I wanna point out some of the other special details that I found incredibly impressive, especially with this pumpkin patch set. The eight and a half foot scarecrow pumpkin skeleton is the highlight. It is beyond impressive and it is a prop that I have to recommend to absolutely everybody. But the four other pumpkins that come with it, two of the pumpkins move and two of the pumpkins are static, but they share the same sculpture. But what Distortion thought to do was to include the steel armature that actually attaches to the motors inside both the static and animated version. Well, what this means is if for some chance the animated version gets damaged, you can easily just replace it with a static version and vice versa and swap them out. That's really impressive and such a great detail when you're investing this kind of money into these props. I'll put all the links below to the pumpkin patch combo as well as the Distortions Unlimited YouTube channel. If you haven't checked them out already, be sure to go over to their YouTube channel and show them some love. We also love how they're really starting to incorporate lighting into their props. We have another video coming out pretty soon where we're gonna show you guys how we added some LED lights into our foam latex props, but I love seeing the approach that Distortions took with their pumpkins as well as with their giant pumpkin scarecrow. With the props you buy from Distortions Unlimited, it's one of those scenarios where you get what you pay for. You get a really high quality prop that you're investing in and at the very least, if you decide to part ways with it in two, five, or ten years, you always know that you can sell it and it will retain value because it will always work. Even though we had some that were damaged in shipping, it was easily fixed and Distortions really stands behind their props. They are a company that really wants their customers to just be 100% happy with their purchases and I can't love and respect that enough. We had a blast filming these props and we can't wait to incorporate them into our own yard display for 2021. We actually had so much fun working with these props that Tom and I decided to film a short video which we're gonna share with you now. Here is the victim. Alright, you wait here. I'll be right back. Everybody play nice.
Big Ed, did you tell them to do this? Marsha, Janine, Mondo, Robert. <sighs> Y'all really need to stop doing this. What a mess. Y'all are animals. Sick of eating pumpkin pie. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our unconventional approach to an unboxing video. We just wanted to do something different where it wasn't just me or Tom blabbing on about props that we've purchased and why we like them. We wanted to showcase them off in a new way that was exciting and we hoped you guys found it at least entertaining. I guess that concludes episode one of Is That Your Prop? Featuring the Distortions Unlimited 2021 Pumpkin Patch Combo. We cannot recommend this grouping of props or this company enough. We absolutely love them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and, you know, we may have a prop makeover video coming out soon. I guess you'll just have to click subscribe to find out. And if you didn't like the video, well, I guess go drink a pumpkin spice latte and watch it again. That's it. I'm done. And welcome, not crawling through boxes like a lunatic and hurt my back again, nonsense like that. None of that.